This week on Boat Maintenance in Under 10 Minutes, we're talking about keeping things dry, like the clothes you hang in the locker up front that always seem damp. We've got the solution, and the same technology will help protect your fuel. Nigel Calder literally wrote the book on marine diesel engines, and another one on cruising life, and another one on refrigeration, and repairs, and cruising the Caribbean, and the weather, and about a hundred other books. But what we're interested in today are his thoughts on getting water out of the boat. We've all put dry clothes in the locker and had them come out slightly damp. In fact, living on a boat can sometimes be like that. Everything is just damp all the time, and it's relentless. You keep the boat dry and you fix any leaks and sponge up the bilge, but somehow your clothes and other cloth material always feels damp. That's the nature of living on a boat, and that same dampness always seems to find a way into your diesel tank. And that's a big problem, as Nigel explains on the Pacific Northwest Boater YouTube channel. We have the number one cause of problems with diesel engines is contaminated fuel. This problem is in many ways getting worse and not better uh, because now we're getting some bio content in our fuel and uh, the bio content holds water. We have uh, other chemicals we're putting in the fuel because we took the sulfur out years ago that uh, are called surfactants that also help to uh, hold water in the fuel. Uh, if we have water in the fuel it uh, encourages bacterial growth so there's all kinds of ne negative effects. This is why we have a Raycor water separator on our diesel line to the engine, and while that helps the engine, it doesn't help the diesel tank itself. As soon as there's water in there, things start growing, and you'll see that green stuff usually in the corners of the tank. That growth then clogs up the pickup tube, and then the filters, and then you start burning through fuel filters in the engine stalls at the most inopportune times. Nigel's advice, don't let the damp air in the tank at all. And that technology is already out there to help. It's absorbent materials. We use things like cat litter to clean up spills for the same reason. It absorbs moisture like a sponge. Nigel turned me on to a company called AVD Plus that makes the H2 Out product. And Nigel isn't paid by these guys, he just loves the product. And the other thing I've been doing for years now is fitting an air vent dryer from H2 Out in uh, Port Townsend, Washington State. Basically, this little air filter that goes on the tank vent line. It's filled with an absorbent material, so air is sucked in and out of the tank regularly via the vent line. It has to pass through this filter, which sucks the moisture out of the air. It even works when the boat's sitting still for a few weeks because it's always sucking the moisture from the diesel tank. So if you have water in the fuel already, it'll slowly fix that problem. And after months of use, when the little filter's all filled up with moisture and can't do its job anymore, they make a recharge kit so you don't have to buy a whole new product. I was watching Nigel explain this and thinking about the fuel vent line on my boat. It runs up from the tank right through the port side lazarette. It's super easy to get to. I could cut that line, install this product with hose clamps, and screw it to the wall. Every little bit helps, right? The other product these guys make is basically the same thing, but not for fuel, for lockers, for the trunk of your car, for wherever it's damp. It's a canister filled with that absorbent material we can put anywhere we want, and it comes in different sizes. If you put the canister in your clothes walker, locker that always leaves clothes feeling damp, it'll slowly suck the moisture out of the air in there and leave the clothes nice and dry. Nigel tested one of these devices kind of to the extreme by putting it in his boat's fridge when the evaporator plate was all frosted up and iced up and was malfunctioning. And by morning, it had defrosted that plate and absorbed all the water as the ice melted. That's a pretty glowing review. But there's one more system to consider to get a drier boat, and that's the bilge pump. Now, I don't know about you guys, but a completely dry bilge seems like a fantasy to me. But I was on a friend's boat the other day, an Endeavor 37, and he has what's called a dry bilge system from Seaflow. Now, I know Seaflow, they make all my water pumps, and I think even my conventional bilge pump is a Seaflow. But they also make this system called dry bilge. Basically, it's made to supplement the conventional bilge pump. What happens, as we know, is the bilge pump switch kicks on when there's enough water in the bilge and it evacuates that water. 
but it turns off before all the water is gone. In my boat, it leaves about two inches of water in the lowest spot of the bilge, so it's never completely dry. The dry bilge system uses a sponge inside a little plastic box to absorb that last little bit of water more slowly and a little quarter inch hose to suck the sponge dry, getting every last drop out of the bilge. It's kind of brilliant. It's like taking a sponge to the bilge but doing it automatically. Is it necessary? No. I've had two inches of water in that one spot of my bilge for decades. But what if the keel bolts were in that low spot? Keeping them dry would prevent rust. Also, the bilge water gets smelly as it sits. I'm sure it's full of bacteria and all sorts of gross stuff. If I had a boat that held more water in that low spot, I think I might go buy this system. I found it on Amazon for 200 bucks, and I like the idea of a dry bilge. What do you guys think? What ways have you found to keep your boat dry? Or do you just live with it? I ordered the space dryer myself so I can put it in that forward hanging locker so my clothes aren't damp anymore. Let me know what you think in the comments.